just about ready to go. And our pitcher in this game, Matthew Liberatore. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of their tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Two straight. In the air, out to center, moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out, a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what look... Swing and a drive, deep right field. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. Batting third, the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fires over to first. And there's two away. That is four. The first baseman, Matt Olson. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for Atlanta, and now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Here with my pal Siggy and towing the slab, Grant Holmes. What do you look for here? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right handers do against him in this one. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now here is Alec Burleson. Here comes a pinch. And strike two. Thank you. Win at second with nobody out. Three, two. In the air, left field, sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. Runner tags it second. He's in there. Take a look at the lineup. 
This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger oh, into God. two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Kicks and deals. Now the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Okay. And another ball. Hey. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You have the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across the run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Here's Nolan Gorman. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, needed a big strikeout to get out of danger. Turned to the deception of that changeup. Great execution. Really sold it with the arm speed. Had his opponent way out on that front foot. Back here in St. Louis, second inning, set to go. Here's Austin Riley. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Lifted in the air, right field. Moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out, number one. Adam Duvall at the plate. Ball to strike. And Ball that's down and away. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. They got it for out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Two outs, base is empty. So here's Murphy now. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that gets down in the corner. And he's there with a double. Everything came together for him. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ballgame. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Orlando Arcia. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. 
The wind and the pitch. That one catches the zone. One and two. And another ball. Here's the 2 2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. 2 2 down. Swung on, belted. Kelman going back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pitch came off the bat really well in the center field, and he clearly put a nice swing on it. And anytime you can get one to drop in out there, you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, to a man, these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. Now here is Brendan Donovan. Arenado stands at second with no outs. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Man at second. The punch out there. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now it's Matt Carpenter. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Pedro Pajes next up for the Cardinals. Man on second, two down. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. Out towards left center. On his way over. Can't get there. It gets down. Throws to second. Safe. And they take the lead. Comes through with the RBI. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his back path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Now batting Michael Ciani. That one is absolutely belted. And that should be extra bases. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 2-0. And that's a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now it's the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Two outs. Ball two. That's in there. Two and two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. At the belt and fires. And that one in the air center field. Kelman makes the catch and that'll do it. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. End of two here at Bush Stadium. It's the Cardinals 2 and the Braves nothing. Back here in 
St. Louis. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Well, oh, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown hey. inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The lefty fires. Hey. That one missing inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The pitch. Laureano on the move. Goldie takes it to the bag and one away in the top of the third. Here is Ozzy Albies up there. One out, the runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fought off foul. And now the lefty. And that skips into dirt. Lifted in the air, out to left. Donovan pulls it in, and there's two away. So two down now, and here is Marcelo Zuna. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you, and a swing and a miss. And that is that. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Cardinals two and the Braves nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Now up for St. Louis, Alec Burleson. The 1 1. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Center field. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. It is interesting, though. When you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Bounce to the right side, and foul ball. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. And that one missing low. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now better. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. He's definitely a talented player. He can hit the ball a mile. And uh, they're just hoping for him to have some more consistency so he can establish that next level here in the big leagues. Not close with that one. And that's ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Swing and a miss. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Two out, space is empty. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Redbirds down quietly. They're up 2 nothing. On 
out of the fourth. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. And a pitch. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. And that's been true again today. Over to Goldie. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Next up for the Braves. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Next offering is in for a strike. Good oh, eye in that spot. One down, base is empty. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And delivers outside. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two down, nobody on. Just off the inside corner, and it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Here's Sean Murphy. One one now. Will he chase that time? Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The Braves down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. Rip, but it curls foul. And the 2-2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Two two on the way. Next Ooh. offering is outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that'll do it. Braves strand one. They trail it here, 2-0. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nolan Arenado. Arenado. Right hander kicks deals. To third. And he grabs it foul. And the right hander deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. So, man aboard. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Falling behind 2-1. and one. You know, these Cardinals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. That one misses. 
three and one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And it's second. Hammer, base hit. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by three. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And now it's going to be Matt Carpenter. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now the catcher comes up to him. Pedro Pajas. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Spencer Schwellenbach getting loose out there. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a good eye there. And ball nope, four to a board. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this no, walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. So one out with two aboard, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Michael Ciani. A little out front there as he swings through it. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Next to hit, Mason Wynn. Out to short, Arcia. Jump throw, nicely done for the out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the start of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. Slice to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Ramon. Loriano. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Matthew Libertor won't go any further tonight. And that's an excellent job from the reliever in the starting role today. Gave him some length. Back with a new arm after this. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Sonny Gray. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Loriano comes up to hit. Big swing and a miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Next offering way off the plate. Movement to the bullpen for the Cardinals. JoJo Romero, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. The Braves trailing by three, and we're at the top of the fifth. Now fly ball to right center. On the move to the alley. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now batting, the center fielder, Jared Kelman. 
Here's Jared Kelnick. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And it's one, one and two. Two straight. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The batter number one. Second base. Ozzy all these up to the plate. The pitch. So now one and two. And that one hammered. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Atlanta. Still down 3 0. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Spencer Schwellenbach. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's the right fielder, Alec Burleson. The right fielder. The wind of the pitch. On its way to the corner. And that is a foul ball. Next pitch oh, inside, and yeah, that's ball two. That's hard hit on the line. And in one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Man at second. And that's in there at the knees. And the pitch. Right side. Loriano makes the grab one away. The bat. The second baseman. Nolan. Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Next up for the Cardinals. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Kicks and fires. That's inside. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big time power at the dish and will probably. Runners on the move. The 1 1 is fouled off. And here it comes. Got him. Two gone now. So first and second with two outs. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. And a 1-1. And another ball. 
Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Burleson, the lead runner at second. Gorman at first, two out of the inning. And that's in the dirt. One strike. Headed down the line. Duvall on the move. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So the cards strand a couple, but they lead it 3-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Stepping in the long ball threat, Marcelo Zuna. Righty delivers. Grounded to Gorman. On to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here is Matt Olson. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Righty to the plate. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. See you later. That was blasted to the moon. And they close the gap. It's 3-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Base is empty one away. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. And now it's even up. In the air, right field. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab for the second out. Up next for Atlanta, the left field. Adam Duvall, Adam. next up for the Braves. Duvall. Two outs. Yeah! Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Kittredge preparing to come on if needed. Romero, a left-hander, also throwing. Ah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Braves get one of the big fly. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning at the play. Matt Carpenter. The third baseman. Matt Carpenter. And a 2-1 on the way. Swings through that one. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And now the Cardinals catcher, Pedro Pajas. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. 
got him swinging. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Two outs, space is empty. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Michael Ciani. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. A swing and a soft liner. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for St. Louis as the lead remains 3-1. New arm out of the bullpen, Andre Palante. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. The catcher, Sean Murphy. The 2-1. You know, these Braves finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. He goes down looking. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. And a swing and a miss. Two out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Here's Ramon Laureano. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. Two outs. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Line drive. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it. New pitcher for the Cardinals, JoJo Romero. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Back to the top of the lineup, Jared Kellner, the next to hit. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Goes down looking. Brave strand one. Score holds. It's 3 1. Back here at Bush Stadium. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The wide to kick the pitch. On a line, base hit. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. It didn't exactly connect with this one as he met it out front, but he still put a decent enough swing on it to get it into the outfield. You know, in 
If you finish the swing and just extend your follow through, you're going to run into Knox just like that. That's and now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. You know, these cards, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Outside, and the count is three and one. Wait on that fastball. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Here's a 1 1. Runner takes off. Pitch misses. Throw safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Up the middle. All these over to first in time. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup oh, earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled second over base. on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The 1-1. One -one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Cardinals three and the Braves one. Back here in St. Louis, ready to begin the eighth. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzie Albies. And the pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Marcelo Zuna now at the plate. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. The 1 1. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score it. Late in the game with the offense trying to play catch up, they're looking for any momentum they can get, any kind of opportunity to get back in this game, and an error can certainly do that. Let's see if that turns into something right here. Here's Matt Olson. The tying run at the plate. Grab ball up the middle. To second, there's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. The new pitcher in the game, Andrew, Andrew. Kittredge. These are the Kittredge. spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Austin Riley. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. And another ball. Just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Tying run at the plate. The right-hander nope. gives up the two-out walk. 
pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. So the tying run at second in the air out towards right center on his way over brings it in and that's the third out two left for Atlanta and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Lee. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. And now the DH, Nolan Arenado. The designated hitter, Nolan Arenado. The 2 2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here's a 2 2. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Digging in, Brendan Donovan. Left hand batter waits. Down the line. Duvall drifts towards it. Snags it for the second out. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Activity in the bullpen. Jesse Chavez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. The one two. That's down and in. A slider missed. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. And down in order go the Cardinals. And the score stays three to one. Closer, Ryan Helsley. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some pitchers. pitch and another ball two balls two strikes the pitch and a swing and a miss the hat trick and a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. well that right there is what you want to see out of your closer come in and close the door cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Bounced out to short. Win. 
Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now batting the right fielder, Ramon. Loriano. So they're down to their final out. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. One strike away. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, Misses inside. And the count is even two and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And another ball. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Kicks and deals. Got it. And that is the ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give them a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.